Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in this stencil and just work your sponge a little bit on the craft mat so you don't go in too heavy handed with that. I'm going to move this around into different areas. This is quite subtle doing it this way. You have quite good control of where you want the paint to go doing it this way. Unlike the credit card scraping where you can't really control that so well. You'll probably notice it's the darker areas that I'm going for with this. It won't show up on the lighter areas, so I'm going in, just bringing a bit in on those darker areas. Now, I'm going to just swap this stencil for the circles one. I'm just going to do something slightly different here. I've got some waxed um, palette paper here and I'm going to put the paint onto here. Need quite a good layer on there. And then I'm going to put the stencil on to pick up the paint. This way I can get the reverse, the negative of the stencil on the page. And you might find you just need something to apply a little bit of pressure maybe um, a brayer like this just to wheel over just to make sure that that pressure is applied you could even just try a kitchen roll and you just get a subtle little technique there it's quite nice effect and I'll just do that again in one more area So picking up the paint on the reverse, so I'm just going to apply that there on that darker area, a bit of pressure, now we have another little bit of the reverse stencil. When you're using stencils like this at home it's always important to wipe acrylic paint off straight away because once it dries it's on there forever.